basic truism that everyone can't be everywhere at the same time applies particularly to atomic tests. Propagation from the blast. A row of smoke rockets is shot into the air 3,000 feet from ground zero. Using this, the progress of the shock wave can be calculated as a function of distance. From the shock velocity in turn, it is possible to calculate overpressure without the disturbance introduced by ordinary pressure gauges. The arrow in the next scene indicates the falling bomb. Before we analyze this burst, let's return to our model map for a moment. 